What's going on YouTube? Ben here, player.net. And today we have the Rajan Tech Midas, Midas, something of the sort. Uh, anyway, it's an aluminum mini ITX case. And as you can see, um, I've got the blue version here, but it does come in a few other colors like black and red, I believe. So it gives users a, um, a few different options to, you know, it's always nice to have some color options, isn't it? Looking at the front of the case itself, as you can see, we have the Rajin Tech uh, little Circle R logo here. And we have a nice um, little power button up here towards the top. Moving around on one side here uh, is a nice vented area to help allow for some airflow because as we know, that's good. That's a, it can always be a problem, but especially in many ITX cases, um, they're very cramped. And there's a lot of heat going on with those components, especially when you start putting some higher end stuff in there. So extra vents is always a good thing. And moving on to the back here, as you can see, we have room for a bottom mounted, um, appears to be a 120 millimeter fan. We have our two PCI expansion bays, because as mentioned, this is um, designed to use with mini ITX boards only. Uh, we have our power plug extender, and what this will allow us to do is um, it's just a cable on the inside that will plug into the power supply, but it actually allows us to mount the power supply in the front of the case uh, without having our mains plug plug into the front of the case. It still plugs into the back, so uh, not to mess things up really. And we of course have the cutout here for the rear I.O. of the motherboard. And on to the other side is a nice little windowed panel where they've actually taken a nice precaution and um, left the protective stuff on here uh, so it doesn't get scratched in transit. But if we go ahead and, well, we'll try to rip it off anyways. It, that wasn't quite as, um, yeah, it didn't quite work as well as it was supposed to. But as you can see anyways, um, there's a nice clear window there that will go ahead and show off the hardware inside so it'll be nice to see how we can build inside this case and um, what's actually shown off in this window a lot of the times it's the um, bottom of a graphics card the fans and stuff so yeah like I said it'll be nice to see what we can see from here but that's pretty much it I mean on the bottom as you can see as mentioned um, the bottom mount the front mounted power supply this is actually where that will go, yeah, the power supply will be sitting right here probably. Um, there appears to be some fan holes here, so we can go ahead and mount some fans into the bottom of the case uh, to allow for a bit better airflow. And then there's, of course, a few feet that also have screws so we can remove them to go ahead and lift the case up off the ground, get it some airflow. Uh, one of the things I will mention as well is I'm going to go ahead now and take the side panels off. Uh, as you may or may not have seen, there were no thumb screws on this case. The side panels are both held on by one, two, three, four screws. So um, that's something a bit different. It's been a while since I've actually seen a case held on with screws, but where they are, the screws are definitely a better choice over thumb screws, I would say. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take those out, open the case up, and we'll take a look around the inside. All right, so here we have it, folks. I've taken the side panels off and just quickly I wanted to show you what the back of the motherboard tray would look like because there's actually there's, there's really nothing going on here. The only reason really um, to take this part off would be to change the CPU cooler or if you have you need to make some adjustments. Maybe you think it's a little loose you need to try to tighten it up from the back or something. Uh, but other than that there's really not a lot going on here. There's not any real room for cable management. Um, there were no holes cut out to route cables through the back here. So yeah, not much going on. All the fun, if you bear with me for a second, is going on in here. The front side, well, the main, I can't even really call it a side. Um, <laughs> it's just a cube thing, but yeah, open it up, and there we have it. As we can see, we have the rear um, installed fan that comes pre-installed. I will of course be removing this and putting a Corsair H80i there hopefully um, for testing as long as everything fits. The motherboard as you can see will of course mount on top of the um, pre-installed risers and I don't know if you can read it or not but on the bottom it 
under the hole it does say for ITX motherboard only. So that's going to be the only thing you're going to fit in here is a mini ITX motherboard. Um, nothing else really is going to go. Um, there are a few things in here. Uh, Raj and Tech have gone ahead and kindly included a, um, a little baggie here with some screws and a, um, a post speaker in it and two zip ties. As mentioned, the um, power supply will be connected to this and this is what connects to the plug on the uh, rear of the case as we saw. So that will be quite interesting. As we can see here on the front, uh, hold on, pardon me, there's actually um, nothing going on on the front. There's no room, there's no air circulation, no nothing. And I mean, I mean we've got the front I.O. connectors here. Um, of course, we've got the USBs, uh, three, and then the HD audio, and of course, power button and all that fun stuff, hard disk drive LEDs. And one thing I'd like to correct is when I was looking at the bottom of the case, I mentioned there might be some screws for some fans. Now, you may be able to rig up some fans in there, but it appears to actually be designed to go ahead and um, hold our 2.5 inch SSDs and whatnot. Uh, Raj and Tech want us to mount it on the base. And that's a good thing because, I mean, looking around the case, it's pretty bare. There's actually nowhere else to put them. So they can go ahead on the floor and again, that'll kind of keep them out of the way. So again, looking at the case, there's not a lot of airflow going on. There's not a lot of options. Uh, it's pretty bare. It's just kind of an open environment in there. So it'll be real interesting to go ahead and get things installed in here and see how well it does under the heat. Now I know myself personally, I can already see a couple little... Um, tweaks, changes I would do to it. I for one would definitely go for some more ventilation, um, especially in the top of the case. Uh, it doesn't matter how you set your components inside. Heat rises. That's a, that's a, a known fact. Heat rises. So a couple vents in the little bit of a vented area in the top would have been nice. Even if it was only something along the back here, like a little one inch strip going across just to allow a little bit of extra ventilation. But anyways, we'll see how it works out for Raj and Tech. Uh, I'm going to get my uh, ITX system built in here. Hopefully it appears everything I have should fit in there, so we'll be good to go. We'll test it out, uh, take some temperatures, and I'll take some more pictures to let you all know what it looks like. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, please check back for the review on player.net. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.